a professor at FCCJ uh, Kent Campus, located just outside of Adamdale. Um, I'm a painter, so you'll be looking at a lot of my recent paintings and drawings. Uh, these days, I really don't like to talk about my art that much, so this is going to be a little painful, all right? <laughs> Um, this is one of the recent paintings I've been doing. Um, it's called Melted Snow. Um, it's acrylic and wax on canvas. We've got a couple different textures working on, on this here. Um, we've got a lot of some raw canvas that's exposed. Um, let's, let's wait 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one of my paintings. It's called uh, Waterfall. Um, it's very interesting because I like the idea of like the street art aesthetic, but using graffiti style work to describe abstract landscapes. This is another one that I call a freezer. Um, it's multi-media, so I've got an oil stick, acrylic, and spray paint, and pencil, and newspaper on canvas. So I'm dealing with a lot of different things, trying to sample as much as possible here. This was another one in the series, and it's called Snowball. This whole series right here actually started from that color, the color blue that I was using. And I remember having a talk with a friend of mine, um, Tanya Lee in Barbados, and we talked about this beautiful blue, right? And I decided to make some paintings where I started with the color, and then Aww. everything else was inspired by it. This is where it was kind of ending, so. <laughs> Bumble here is uh, kind of ending my series here. <laughs> this is another one here. Obviously, I'm um, heavily influenced by a lot of things from my childhood. I grew up originally in Brooklyn, New York, so a lot of the graffiti aesthetic and a lot of television <laughs> influenced my work. I was a fan of a lot of classic abstract New York work combined with Tom and Jerry cartoons. <laughs> That's an installation there of the work. This is Matt Allison at the Opaque Gallery. Um, this was the first solo show I had in Jacksonville. It was called Black Friday. Um, you can see on the wall there I have a lot of a series of drawings I've done on one side and some paintings of fish on the other. This was about ideas about exporting culture. Um, I live both in New York and Barbados, so it's very interesting to see how people outside of the country view you. Right? Um, this is one of the drawings I've done. It's, um, I had done a series of drawings on famous Jamaican musicians. What I tried to do was, in 20 minutes, do a drawing, listen to four tracks from the artist, and do a drawing by the time the four tracks were done. Woo! Yeah. And you know what? If you're from the West Indies, this guy is just as big as Bob Marley, right? But he's not as commercial outside. So it's another one of the... Uh, 20 minute studies there. I figure with the time that it would make it more interesting because you know portraits have been done. Um, this is a view of a lot of the portraits lined up. There's some that weren't in this picture. Um, this was a space called Seesaw Space that was curated by uh, Barrett Pfizer. You did a good job of hanging that show. Thank you, Barrett. You have several artists there. Ah! This is something I'm very excited about. This is actually the Arrow Barrel Center of Creative Imagination at the University of the West Indies in Barbados. And I did a show there this past summer. Um, this is the brand new building, and it's um, dedicated just to the arts. So I was happy to have the first show there in their gallery. This was at the tail end of a very long night. And um, I have some <laughs> dramatic things. <laughs> That's business, guys. I don't understand. <laughs> this is one of my latest paintings here. Um, I call them my fat belly paintings because they're actually painted on a curved surface. This is like trying to think of the ideas of I'm doing a painting, but why does it have to actually be on a flat surface? So I've had these surfaces built that kind of bow from the wall. I've got these patterns that have emerged in them. Um, this checkerboard pattern, for some reason, I've been obsessing over recently. So if you see that checkerboard pattern around town, it might be me. All right? These are some of them from the side so you can see how they bow. These patterns have 
come up a lot just recently in my work. And um, it's very interesting. This is a, a washi doll that was made by a friend of mine, um, Yuki Shimizu. I bought this from her. And it was interesting to watch how she dealt with one pattern on another. She's got more of these on display at Ready Art, just in case you want to take a closer look. Right, but beautiful. But I was a fan of how she pieced together these patterns. Um, more checkerboard patterns here. <laughs> If you see this little tag here, that's probably me that painted it also. Another one of the paintings I've been working on recently. I've got a lot of torn paper in there once again, spray paint, oil stick, pencil on canvas. This is another one. I think that one just before I called that Mars, and this one I called Venus. Uh, once again, the patterns are just creeping in everywhere. It's something interesting about that checkerboard pattern because the way I see it is kind of like ideas of the calculated combined with things that happen just by accident. And what happens when you combine them on the same space? Ha. Now this is interesting. Um, one of my art heroes is an artist named Jean-Michel Basquiat, who's also from Brooklyn, New York. And he had a series called Famous Negro Athletes. Unfortunately, he died in 1987, so I figured or to happen if that was continued. Ah, when you don't have anyone else to draw, you draw yourself. <laughs> and no, uh, that's not a halo. <laughs> I think that's, um, you know, ideas of us as artists, where do we get our inspiration from? And sometimes I feel like we have this antenna up and we kind of receive this stuff from some other place. And I'm going to end this with another self-portrait. <laughs> Yes, this is a portrait, self portrait of me as a cassette tape here. <laughs> and I think that kind of illustrates, you know, as a painter, as a fine artist, sometimes we feel like the most important people in the world, and sometimes it's like, am I doing something that's going to become obscure pretty quickly? So, yeah. So, thank you.